the world has a ton of billionaires compared to how many there were two decades ago. In fact, there are way too many billionaires. A new billionaire just pops out every other day. Some of them are rich because of their inheritance, and some got to where they are because of their hard work. Zhong Shanchan is one of those billionaires. He made it to wherever he is in life right now because of how hard he worked for it. In today's video, we will be taking a look at what really makes Zhang different to other billionaires and talk about how he got to where he is. Before we get into the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Make sure to stick around until the end because we talk about his early life and what he used to do. Let's get into the video. Zhang, the head of the Chinese bottled water company Nongfu Spring, has risen to become the world's sixth richest person after his company's stock has risen over 20% since the start of 2021. Zhang's net worth is presently $91.7 billion, placing him second only behind Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg and ahead of American investor Warren Buffett, Google founder Larry Page, and Indian tycoon Mukesh Ambani. Zhang's fortune has grown to become China's biggest. His fortune has eclipsed that of Pinduoduo founder Colin Huang, Tencent founder Pony Ma, and Alibaba founder Jack Ma, among other Chinese internet tycoons. Among these billionaires, though, Zhang is an exception in that he generates the majority of his money through a rather straightforward business, bottling water and selling it in bulk. Zhang was born in the Chinese city of Hangzhou in 1954. According to Chinese media, Zhang quit school in fifth grade and worked odd jobs in carpentry and construction for a decade after growing up through China's chaotic cultural revolution. In the early 1980s, when China's cultural revolution ended, Zhang earned a journalism degree from a local university and worked as a reporter. After a five-year career as a journalist, Zhang tried his hand at entrepreneurship, selling anything from mushrooms to turtle-derived health supplements. In 1996, Zhang decided to pursue a career in the water industry, after he had previously worked for another bottled water firm as a salesman. In his birthplace of Hangzhou, he started Nongfu Spring by selling bottled water from nearby reservoir to local merchants. Zhang's company relied on the fact that China's tap water was, and continues to be, largely unfit for human consumption. According to China's Ministry of Water Resources, more than 80% of the country's groundwater is unfit for human consumption. At the same time, the bottled water market in China has exploded in tandem with the country's economic growth. According to the International Bottled Water Association, China consumed 39.5 billion liters of bottled water in 2013, up from 2.8 billion liters in 1997. Zhang's success is also due to this ability to persuade Chinese customers that Nongfu's water is superior than that of its competitors. Nongfu, he bragged, offered only natural water, and his company's tagline, Nongfu tastes a bit sweet, became well known throughout China. Because of how popular Nongfu's slogan got, in 2016, Chinese official media said, Chinese consumers believe sweet water is better water. Nongfu's claims of having superior water were called into question in 2013 when China's top regulator accused the firm of having less strict safety requirements for its bottled water than the country's tap water. Zhang retaliated by accusing his rivals of orchestrating the scandal. After performing testing at its factory, the authorities certified Nongfu's water safe later that year, and Nongfu's sales continued to rise. Nongfu was China's leading bottled water vendor in 2018 with a 26% share of the market. Zhang expanded the company's range to include energy drinks and vitamin waters, and the bottled water powerhouse went public in September 2020. Nongfu Spring was the first company to list on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange with a market capitalization of $48 billion. The current market valuation of Nongfu is around $95 billion. Nongfu's performance this year can be linked in part to investors' perceptions of it as a safe option in an uncertain economic environment. In September, Vincent Wen, an investment manager at KCG Securities Asia, told the Wall Street Journal that its businesses are immune to any global economic shock in U.S.-China tensions, not to mention that other investments made by Zhang have also paid off. Zhang made Beijing One Type Biological, a vaccine maker who started in 1993 as part of a nutritional supplements firm, public in April 2020. On the Shanghai Stock Exchange, Beijing Wantai currently has a market value of almost $17 billion. For his unwillingness to communicate to the press or interact in elite circles, Zhang has been dubbed a lone wolf by Chinese media. His newfound status as one of the world's top 10 wealthiest individuals hasn't affected his low-key public persona. In 2016, Zhang told China Daily, I don't like making friends with business people. He also added, 
In the business world, I want it to be just business. On the other hand, Ambani has been seen at several parties and is known to rub shoulders with Bollywood celebrities and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. He allegedly spent $100 million on his daughter's lavish wedding, which included a private performance by Beyonce. Shang's lifestyle appears to be quite distinct from that of any billionaire. Take a look at where other billionaires such as Mukesh Ambani like to reside in comparison to Zhang. Ambani famously resides with his family in a 27-story tower in Mumbai with three helicopter pads and subterranean parking for 160 vehicles, which drew a flurry of worldwide media interest when it was completed in 2010. Formerly China's richest man, Jack Ma, has also attracted notice for his lavish real estate purchases, including a $23 million home in upstate New York and a reported $191 million mansion in Hong Kong. Zhang, on the other hand, who's now worth more than both billionaires, has never invested in real estate. He resides in Hangzhou, a city of roughly 10 million people in eastern China, famed for its gorgeous environment as well as its trade center. According to CNN Business, the city was home to at least 32 billionaires in 2016, including Jack Ma. According to Nungfu Springs Public Offering Prospectus, Zhang resides in an apartment in Hangzhou's Shihu neighborhood, which borders the city's picturesque Westlake. According to Google Maps, the area is a green residential neighborhood around four miles from Hangzhou's core business center's skyscrapers. Nungfu Spring, Zhang's bottled water firm, is just a seven-minute driveway, and Jack Ma's and group offices are also close by. One Tai Beijing, Zhang's pharmaceutical firm, is significantly farther away from his home with headquarters in Beijing's Changping district. According to Travel China Guide, Changping is Beijing's high-tech and science base. Zhang's lonely demeanor might be a result of his humble beginnings. According to Bloomberg, Zhang dropped out of primary school and worked as a construction worker until landing a job as a newspaper writer in the 1980s. In 1983, Zhang began working for the Zhejiang Daily, where he covered agriculture. According to the French daily Le Monde, after around five years, he began to experiment with other economic enterprises, including creating a private newspaper, cultivating mushrooms, and selling curtains. Later, he created Yangsheng Tang Company Limited, a pharmaceutical firm that's now Beijing's one ties holding company. According to his corporate biography, Zhang created Nongfu Spring in 1996 and now serves as executive chairman, personally managing the company's sales, branding, and human resources. There is very little information regarding Zhang's personal life. However, the prospectus for Nongfu's spring initial public offering showed that numerous members of his family owned shares in the bottled water firm. According to Bloomberg, Lu Xiaowei, his wife's older sister, owns 1.4% of Nongfu Spring, which is worth $432 million. Two of his wife's other siblings each possesses $428 million worth of stock. Zhang's sisters, Zhang Xiaoxiao and Zhang Xuanchuan, hold $642 million in shares between them. Zhang Shuzi, Zhang's son, is listed as a non-executive director on the company's board of directors. According to the China Daily, Zhang has two additional children. According to Bloomberg, Zhang resigned from the board of directors of his pharmaceutical business Beijing Wantai in January 2021 for personal reasons. Despite his humble beginnings, he has created such a gigantic company by just selling bottled water, which is such a massive achievement. He's only going to grow even more when you look at how steady his company has been growing. Let us know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Also, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel with bell notifications on so you don't miss out on future content. For today's fun fact, Elon Musk recently took Jeff Bezos' spot as the richest man in the world. He's worth a whopping 214 billion US dollars. Make sure to check our channel if you like content like this. I'll see you in the next one.